we are still live at the Ghanaian Fawemi Lecture and Symposium where we'll be talking to editor in chief of the Nigerian Weekly Law Report. Can I meet you, sir? Yes, um, my name is Olu Ole Kende. Okay. Uh, you have rightly said I'm uh, the editor of Nigerian Weekly Law Report. Okay, sir. Sir, what is the importance of this particular event, Ghanaian Fawemiism? How, how is it important to Nigerian Weekly Law Report, sir? Well, the Nigerian Weekly Law Report uh, is one of the marks left behind by Chief Ganifa Emi that gave him the recognition for instituting Faimism as a permanent um, lecture in his honor. And um, I think um, the importance of Weekly Law Report to this event will be seen from the uh, fact that it is the first major law report in Nigeria that has been consistent over the years, over 30 years, and at inception, Chief Ganifa made it clear that the, the report, the mission of the report, is to democratize the practice of law in Nigeria. That is making law available to everybody, particularly the practitioners, young and old, poor and rich, and all stakeholders. And by this, we'll find out that the law is everywhere, open to everybody to research on and to know what the position of law is on any area you are interested or you have challenges. So the feminism is an offshoot of this tradition of disseminating ideas, liberating people through uh, public opinion and education and um, sensitization. Okay, sir, so you said NL, NWLR is all about democratizing um, law. And um, you would agree with me, sir, that the law as it is now has evolved from what it used to be to where we are today. Now we are in the era of um, electronic versions of law reports. We have um, electronic version of e-books all around. How is NWLR taking um, this option of um, e-electronic um, versions? How are you taking it, sir? Yes, we are dealing with the issue and very soon, very, very soon, the electronic version, the online version will be in the market. It has taken so long because of the tradition of perfection and authoritative approach to dealing with legal issues. Nigerian Weekly Law Report has taken more than uh, what uh, may appear to be uh, normal to get to the online stage. But certainly, I believe the users will get more than they, uh, they require. So you are saying in, 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 in the nearest future, couple of um, days or months, we will be, we'll, in weeks, wow, in weeks we will be expecting the, the electronic version of the Nigerian Weekly Law Report. So what are the futures? What are we expecting? What, what are the wonderful, the juicy futures that makes it different from all the electronic versions? Sir? One, most of the electronic versions you have on ground have limited resources. Yes, they give you current decisions, but they don't have the old reports. The NWR have reports from 1985 to now. That is 34 years. So we are giving both the current and the old that many are only making references to. And it was because of this backlog that were in analog form and had to be converted that took the NWR so much time to get to this level. So you are, you, are, you, are, you are expecting a whole package and you don't have to be going out because we have virtually everything within the NWR uh, full. So we'll be expecting a total package yes. of law reports, also yes. features that are quite juicy, exactly. different from other yes. uh, platforms. Thank you very much. Sir.